The US Navy has conducted new missile tests in the Persian Gulf off the coast of Iran. The drill showcased US Navy's ability to target and destroy enemy small missile boats like the ones Iran employs. The US Navy's 5th Fleet and Naval Forces Central Command NAVSENT, announced that between Thursday and Saturday, US patrol coastal ships conducted a live fire exercise with the Mark 60 Griffin guided missile system in the Persian Gulf. Vessels that participated in the US training included coastal patrol ships USS Firebolt, USS Thunderbolt, USS Tempest, USS Chinook, USS Hurricane, USS Whirlwind, Expeditionary Mobile Base Platform Ship USS Lewis B. Puller, and Guided Missile Destroyer USS Michael Murphy. This is seen as a message to Iran. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes why the US Navy tested a weapon that can destroy missile boats on Iran's doorstep. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by War Thunder the most comprehensive military vehicle online game for PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One, in which you can go to battle on more than 1,200 playable aircraft, tanks, helicopters, and ships from the 1930s to the 1990s. The game has an amazing attention to detail and focuses on a realistic combat experience, which is why knowing your vehicles and skill really makes a difference. It's easy to get into and all you need to play is nothing more but your mouse and keyboard or controller. Immerse yourself in cross-platform combat with more than 20 million other military vehicle enthusiasts from all over the world. Download and play War Thunder for free using the link in the description below and also get a free bonus tank, aircraft or ship and three days of premium account. The test has been conducted in a location so as to make Iran take notice. Persian Gulf, the Strait of Hormuz and the Gulf of Oman is the area where the Iranian Navy is very active. The Strait of Hormuz, which is a strait between the Persian Gulf and the Gulf of Oman, provides the only sea passage from the Persian Gulf to the open ocean. It's one of the world's most strategically important passages. At its narrowest, the strait has a width of only 21 nautical miles, or 39 kilometers. Around 33% of the world's liquefied natural gas and almost 20% of total global oil production passes through the strait, making it one of the most important sea routes. Because of its narrow width, it's kind of a choke point. Small missile boats and fast attack vessels that can maneuver easily in these waters can be used to harass large warships as well as commercial vessels. Iran has invested in several kinds of small vessels and has developed strategies to deploy them effectively in the strait. The Iranian fleet has vessels with machine gun turrets, missile boats, as well as catamaran type crafts. In a September 11, 2008 report, the Washington Institute for the Near East Policy said that in the two decades since the Iraqi imposed war on Iran, the IRGC, or Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps, has excelled in naval capabilities and is able to wage unique, asymmetric warfare against larger naval forces. According to the report, the IRGC Navy has been transformed into a highly motivated, well-equipped, and well-financed force and is effectively in control of the world's oil lifeline the Strait of Hormuz. The Mark 60 Patrol Coastal Griffin Missile System is a surface-to-surface -surface missile system intended to defend ships from small boat swarms. It's developed from AGM-176 Griffin, which is designed to be launched from the ground or air. In September 2013, Raytheon and the US Navy demonstrated the Griffin missile's ability to engage fast-moving small boats from various platforms throughout a series of at-sea tests. 
the Mark 60 Patrol Coastal Griffin missile system was integrated on a Cyclone-class patrol ship, which used it to hit remote-controlled boats, simulating a threat to the ship. The Mark 60 achieved Initial Operational Capability IOC, with the U.S. Navy in March 2014. The Mark 60 includes the Griffin missile, a laser targeting system, a U.S. Navy design launcher, and a battle management system. Each Mark 60 can launch four missiles, and a patrol ship has two Mark 60 launchers on board. When mounted on a ship, the missile is designated the BGM-176B. Arming patrol crafts with Griffin missiles adds a layer of defense to the ships beyond the range of their 25mm gun mounts, out to 4.5 kilometers or 2.8 miles, and also provides 360-degree coverage. The missile is equipped with a blast fragmentation warhead of 13 pounds or 5.9 kilograms and has thrust vectoring engines that can move the missile to its target even when launched vertically. Installation onto a vessel involves adding the launcher and weapons control system, the Bright Star 2 sensor laser designator, and the Griffin B Block 2 missile in a process taking one month. The timing of the test is significant. This particular U.S. Navy weapons drill came days after speedboats from Iran's Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps swarmed around the U.S. Arleigh Burke-class guided missile destroyer USS The Sullivans DDG-68, and a Vietnamese-flagged oil tanker. During this encounter, helicopter-borne Iranian troops landed on the oil tanker and sailed it back to Iran. Iran has claimed it captured the oil tanker in a mission to protect it from an act of piracy by the U.S. Navy. The U.S. Navy rubbished this claim and said it was simply observing the Iranian forces as they captured the tanker. The last U.S. live-fire test of the Griffin missile system took place in the U.S. Fifth Fleet Area of Operations in December of 2019. The U.S. Fifth Fleet Area of Operations includes the Persian Gulf, Gulf of Oman, Red Sea, and part of the Indian Ocean and encompasses the three critical choke points at the Strait of Hormuz, the Suez Canal, and the Strait of Bab al-Mandeb. The message is clear. Stay away from any misadventures against the U.S. Navy. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting, and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.